Saul's wife. Have you seen our view of the strip? Oh, well, Dwight said he didn't trust us on the balcony. There's a stripper across the way who likes to watch TV in her underwear. Your mission? Find her. Uh, mission accepted. Yeah. Oh, 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 I, I'm sorry, honey. I told those guys to use the coaster. Forget about the coaster. What's this? It's my rainy day money. You know, just extra cash I set aside whenever I forgot to tip the pizza guy. Well, there's like $300 here. No wonder our pizzas always have gravel on them. <laughs> right, I've been thinking all day about how you wanted to go to Mexico, so I think you should take this money and go. Oh, Nikki, I can't do that. This is your money. I, I feel guilty enough about being out of work. Please don't tell me how to use this money, okay? All right, look, I'd argue with you some more, but I've had a lot of beers and the room's starting to spin. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hey, guys! <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> He's gone, man. I mean, just like that, dude. <laughs> you were right to not let us go out there. Psych! <laughs> man, put your pants on. We're going to Mexico. Oh, yeah, but I was out the water. Oh. Yeah, seriously, Mike, put your pants on. <laughs> Sorry, sweetness. Jeez. It's as if I was possessed by old Blue Eyes himself. Whoa. Don't you have to get to work? Fine. Say goodbye to your audience. Good riddance. See you tonight, sugar bear. Bye bye, honey. Love. Bye. Bye. What you done? You clean table. Now. Bite me, Lou. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm supposed to meet my friend for lunch here. Are you Mary? Oh, yeah, you must be Nikki's friend, Stacy. She told me you were coming down. She'll be here in a minute. You know, it's funny, but you seem a lot younger than I expected. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, well, I just mean from the way that Nikki described you. You know, I was expecting you to be a lot older and, you know, shop-worn. <laughs> shop-worn. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah. I may look really tired because I've been working a lot. I don't get to sit around all day sponging off my husband. Oh, my God. I, I shouldn't have said anything. Now you're mad. Please don't tell Nikki. No, oh, don't worry. Actions speak louder than words. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry I'm late. I'm having a bad day. No, oh, Nick, don't sell yourself short. You're having a bad year. <laughs> I sent Dwight off to Mexico with my rainy day money. Well, that was nice of you. No, it wasn't. There is no rainy day money. I gave him the last $300 in our bank account. <laughs> well, that's easy. You just put more money in. Oh, my God. You can put money in those things? <laughs> Stacy, I don't have any money. And if I don't replace it quick, we are going to be bouncing checks all over Nevada. You have your real name on your checks? <laughs> hate being out of work. Yeah, tell me about it. I was job hunting all morning. The only thing I could find was working the buffet at the Riviera. Yeah, what's wrong with that? The Riviera is nice. Yeah, not when you're wearing a meat suit handing out free samples to the tourists. <laughs> Food you can hit on. Fat guy's dream come true. <laughs> so, uh, so, so you didn't take this job? Are you kidding me? What kind of loser would take a degrading job like that? <laughs> Not meat. I think it's great that you went out and got a job. I told Mary she was wrong about you. 
what was Mary wrong about me about? Oh, you know, that you just sit around the apartment all day and sponge off your husband. What? Oh, my God. I, I shouldn't have said anything. Please don't tell Mary. I told you she'll kill me. Not after I kill her first. <laughs> Hello? Hey, honey, how's Mexico? Uh, it is great. The three amigos are having a blast. Although, apparently, we're not the only three guys who call ourselves that down here. <laughs> no, I'm glad you're having fun. Yeah, you know, I'm just sitting here on the beach, one hand holding a margarita, the other hand waiting for a margarita. Hey, baby, what the hell are you doing here? Who is that? Um, that's our waiter, Manuel. Yeah, he's a big wrestling fan. CWF is huge down here in Mexico. Uh-oh, Mike's out of his pants again. Better go. Love you. Bye. Little tip for you, kid. The water here may not be drinkable, and prescription drugs may be plentiful, but uh, this ain't Mexico. <laughs> Every second, a thousand... Cry, baby, what the hell are you doing here? You're supposed to be on vacation. I had to get Violent Vic to cover for you. And that's a parole violation for him. <laughs> I didn't go. Oh, no, I gathered that from your clumsy web of lies. What happened? I don't know. I, I was in the car with my buddies, and I suddenly just thought, you know, what the hell am I doing? My wife is out of work. We're almost broke, and I'm going to go on vacation. So I lied and told him I needed the money to bail my boss out of jail. Really? Hey, what did I do? <laughs> Pulled a gun on your ex-wife. Oh, that's insane. I'm not allowed within 100 feet of her. Why don't you just go home? I couldn't. You know, this trip was so important to Nikki. She, she gave me a rainy day money. I couldn't just walk back through the door and be like, thanks, but no thanks. And besides, she's going to love me for this later when we're able to go back to the video store with our heads held high and say, here's your stinking late fees. <laughs> say humiliation. Mary, knock it off. All right, I don't want anybody to see me like this. Oh, that's funny, because I want everyone to see you like this. I'm sorry. Meat is for guests of the Riviera and my friends. Oh, and I guess I'm too old to be your friend. No, you're too mean. Why did you tell Stacy that I sponge off a Dwight? Well, because you told her I was a worn-out old hag. Mary, you know me. I would never say hag. I would say bitch or <laughs> a conniving bitch. 